Hey guys, DJ Ravine here, and it is week three of the Point Blank vlog, and I think it's about time that I go and set up my studio. So I've gone to Pioneer DJ, grabbed a bunch of things, I've got some studio monitors here, I've got the XDJ RX2, which is like an all-in-one DJ kit, and we're going to go and set it up along with some studio gear that I bought along with me. So let's go and do that now. Oh my god, yes, finally, that took ages, but it is done, and you know what? It doesn't look that bad, does it? We got a little home studio now, all right. So another cool thing about starting at Point Blank is that there are heaps of exclusive student discounts, such as up to 30% off Native Instruments hardware, up to 5% off Pioneer DJ, up to 50% off Ableton Live, and up to 50% off Native Instruments software. There's heaps more as well, but you guys gotta check the website for that one. All right, so I'm just at the pub outside Point Blank. It's called the, the Stag's Head Pub. And one of the tutors at Point Blank, his name is Phil Ramacon. He's Grammy Award winning. So yeah, he's got some credentials. He runs a open mic night that anyone can go to. You know, I'm not a singer, so I'm not gonna go sing, but let's go and take a look. Hey guys, DJ Rabin here, and I'm here with... Shah. <laughs> uh, where are you from, Shah? Philippines, all cool. the way. How did you find the open mic night? Open mic nights are amazing. Like, you don't know who's gonna turn up. You may think, oh, it's just a, just a pub down the road. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea who comes here. It's actually, like, a not a bad pub. How's, have you had the food here? No, it's amazing. The food is amazing here. Like, the fish, oh. But the, um, the open mic night happens twice every, every month, month yes. right? So, how many of these have you been to? I think I've been to almost every one of them. Are you, are you singing every time? Yeah, I, except this one time where I chickened out. Never happened to me. I've did, you been get did you get since, nerves or something? Or? I've been singing since I was three years old before I could talk. And I've, I've performed for 8,000 8, people. Doesn't wow. freeze me, but that stage scares me for some reason. That's funny, isn't it? It's probably it? because your teacher's watching you as well. <laughs> And now I'm here with the tutor Phil Ramacon. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> how was the How was the uh, open mic? Open mic was good. We had some very good talent there. Band was sounding good. And and just so you guys know, it's like open to everybody. Open to everybody from any college, from any. You don't even have to be a student from any anywhere. It's great if you really want to step up a bit. But for some people, it can be a bit intimidating. Um, you just never know who's in the audience. Last on Wednesday, Tom O'Dell was in the audience. You know him? No, I do not. He's a famous songwriter, singer-songwriter ah, here. There you go. No, he, his stuff gets like 163 million views. On, wow. Yeah, he's a big, he's a, and he was there watching. We had a girl from Duran Duran, wow. famous 80s band, she was there. You never know who's in the audience. Yeah, just come down, I'll, I'll be having a pint, so just join me there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll buy you a pint. <laughs> So this week, both my Intro to Ableton class and Music Composition class, it's all about music theory. That means we're talking about keys, scales, and chords. I'm just about to head to my Music Composition class, and I'm gonna go chat to my instructor, Linton Bennett, about what he thinks about chords. Hey Linton, how are you? Hey, you doing all right? Yeah, good. Cool. So, I've got a couple of questions about chords. All right. When you write chords, right, what part of your songwriting process do you normally start writing the chords? Straight away. Yeah? Yeah. Because I know a lot, a lot of people like doing beats first and... Yeah, I, I, I can start with the beat first, but I kind of see the beat as the instruction. Do you want people to dance here, make it fast and put some beat in there that makes people dance? Yeah, yeah. Is it a hip hop beat? Well, slow it down, make it a bit more dirty and, and rough and rugged. And you know, there's, th these are instructions. How do you want the people to move to right. the music? But the actual song is what they're going to listen to. Um, and I would like people to move and sing the song. So the chords come in tandem with the melody and I'll just work around that. This has always kind of gotten me. When you're writing the chords, right? Is it right and wrong chords? <laughs> That's extremely suggestible. I don't like to say that there's a rule to writing music. If it sounds right to you and you're enjoying writing it, if it sounds right to you, it's right. But in order to have the audience understand writing, the writing process, 
I do need to put some ingredients in there that they understand. And that makes sense because, you know, not everyone's a professional musician or something like mm. that, but we all listen to enough music there. Oh, absolutely. The chord side of it is quite important to me because that's another voicing. You know, we're monophonic, this is polyphonic. So if you're hitting a chord, for instance, that says a lot. What are you going to say with that? You can't just tomorrow, today, love, pain. It's this that has merit to what you're singing. Chords aren't just chords. They actually say whatever it is you're trying to say, but with maybe six or seven notes. Sure. So when you're going to pick the next chord that you want to play after that, like your progression, yeah. Does a lot of that come down to experience? I'll just... be honest with you, it comes down to just having hundreds of combinations in my head and right. being able to just release them one at a time. No matter where I am, I could put my hand on a chord and I'll start thinking of a song. Um, I, whether that's years and years of doing this or just because I have an immense jukebox in my head that as soon as I touch a key, it starts going that song, that song, that song and that song. Um, but for me to actually sit down and say, well, it's 25 years of studying, and da, 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 it's, it's a lie. It's just, I've, I'm just really passionate and love music to the point where I can store it better than anything in my head and retrieve it much quicker than anything else in my head. Well, as, as, <laughs> as you say, technique is the... God, technique, technique is, is the, the ability, ability to, to do, do what the imagination, imagination desires. Requires. requires. Let's do it together. Technique, Technique is, is the, ability the ability to, to do, do what, what the, the imagination, imagination requires. requires. You heard it here first, people, <laughs> all right? This is it. So what's in your head as an imagination can come out, but it needs some fact and theory to tell it to somebody else in the way that you hear it in your head so that they say, you don't like that or you love this or it's the end of the world tomorrow. And it, it, I can't say it any better. And that's why we're here. Ah! That's why I point blank. Well, that's why we're here, folks, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now that Linton's given us some background knowledge on chords, I'm gonna show you beginners how to build the two most basic chords, which are the major and the minor chord. Now this is C major. Now as you can see, for C major, I pressed C, E, and G. And there's a major chord for every single key on the keyboard. For example, D major sounds like this. So in order to work out a C major chord, it's very similar to working out keys, we need to count the semitones. We basically need to press the keys of the root key being C, and then the key that is four semitones up, and the key that is seven semitones up from the root key. So that basically is E and G. So if we count the keys to E, one, two, three, four, that's four semitones, and then we need one at seven, which is G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's C major. Now minor chords, C minor, this is what it sounds like. So in order to work out a minor chord, what we need to do is press the keys that are three and seven semitones up from the root key, along with the root key. So that would be C plus three semitones, which is C, C sharp, D, D sharp. So C and D sharp, and then we need to go seven again, which is gonna still be the G. So that's this. And that's it from me, that was week three of Point Blank Music School. I uh, don't have much footage of me being in class because I did actually get sick this week. These London winters are not agreeing with my body at all. Uh, but it wasn't so bad because Point Blank has all the class notes online. So you can go and check it if you get sick like me. Oh, and I uh, found out what my assessments are going to be. I actually knew about this at the beginning, but now it's been finalised. So for this class, it is Make a Track with Ableton. For this class, it is make a track, but use a lot of music theory stuff. And for this class, it's record a cover track. So I'm sure you get the gist of it. It's uh, basically make music, which is good because Point Blank is a music school. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. I'll see you guys next week.